Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. This is part of a series on Sketch Basics. On this one, we're going to learn about graphic styles, how important they are and how they will help you on your workflow. And it's a pretty powerful tool from Sketch and I think you're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and start with colors. So really basic, it's just like any other design tool. Uh, as you can see here, once I select the layer that has a color, you can see it here on the fills and I can see it on the borders too. Uh, if I click on it, you will see two different uh, panels. One that is global colors and document colors. Right now I don't have a document color, but I do have global colors. The global colors are a set of colors that will follow you through any other document that you add. So for example here, I have this color. Let's change it to a reddish, a pinkish reddish, and I want to add it to my document colors. And now I added it to my document colors, but as you can see, it's not on my doc on my global colors. That means that when I create a new document, for example, I create a new one here. If I want to change the color, and I want to apply that color. It's not there on. It's not that color. I cannot find it because it's not part of this document. If I were to add it on my global colors, let's go back and let me add that color. I'm going to add it to my global colors. It's right there. And now I go back to that new file and now I can apply that color right there because now I added that color to my global colors and it's going to be following me on any other uh, file that I open. So if you have colors that you know that you're going to be using over and over, like for example, a shades of gray or probably a green and a blue, you can add them to your global colors. That way you always have those colors, colors available for you to reuse. And if you know that, uh, you have colors that are particular for this document, you can add them right here on your document colors. So that's pretty much the basic of uh, colors. And uh, obviously also too, uh, you can select colors by using uh, hue, saturation, and brightness. So you can do that and also you can use a hex code. So it's pretty easy, like for example, if I were to want a, 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 I don't know, a blue, I can go into hue and I can change it around here, any of these blues, and then I can just change the brightness by going up or down. So the the higher it is, the brighter it is, and the lower it is, the the more darker it is. And also vertically from uh, from left to right, you edit the saturation of your color. And you can do this here on this panel, and you can also do it here with numbers. The A represents alpha, so that will give you a translucity. So for example, if I were to put 50, now that gives me a 50% opacity. If I change it back to 100, Oops, sorry, that was 100. There you go, now it's 100% opacity. And yeah, that's pretty much how uh, colors work. You can also change from HSV to hue saturation and brightness, to also to RGB if you wish to do that. Just like go here and just tap on it, or just click on it, and you can change that if you prefer uh, working on RGB. And that's how you control colors. Uh, something cool too about uh, colors is that you don't just have to use colors. You can also use gradients at, when you're adding a fill. You can use gradients, and for example, here I can use a, a, a linear gradient. I can use a, a uh, a radial gradient and I can edit it here for example if I want to move it I can do it here and I can change the colors over here so for I select this color and I change it to this and then probably this one is going to be a little bit darker and I can just see it here live and if I wanted to add more colors to my gradient and I want to get a little bit groovy I can certainly do that <laughs> and also something that is pretty cool and pretty powerful is adding images so for example I have this image and it usually gives you patterns but you can also add for example if I were to add this image and I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually use an image that I already have somewhere else. So I'm going to choose an image from anywhere. I'm going to, for example, I have a chicken burrito. I'm going to put a chicken burrito as my fill. And as you can see, first it is trying to put as a tile, but I can also use fill. And that way it will try to do its best uh, on top and, and, and fr from top to bottom and left to right to fill the, uh, the edges of your of your layer. So this is a square, but if I were to transform it like this, see how the burrito still keeps the same proportions, it's not stretching, it's just adjusting to the center horizontally and vertically and adjusting its size. So it's uh, it's pretty cool, it's a pretty cool feature. So you can use that as a fill. Um, and that's it, that's it for colors and fills. Now let's understand about graphic styles. Sometimes you have a style that you want to be using over and over. So for example, I have this color that I know I'm going to be using in many elements and I call it black. And as you can see here, I have here a list of different 
uh, styles that I applied that I'm going to be using over and over. So for example, this one is red. I call it red, but it's not it's not quite red. I can just change it here. Probably run there. Now it looks like a red. And then the cool thing about this is that anywhere you want to uh, uh, edit this uh, color, you want sorry, you want to you want to reuse this color and apply it anywhere else. So for example, if I were to use, let me just duplicate this, and all of these three elements are using the same graphic style that is called black. Tomorrow, probably this black, you know what? It's going to be a little bit lighter, that black. And I change it here, and it doesn't change anywhere else. But if I press the refresh button right here, see how it now changes here too. That way, if I make a change in one place, it will create, it, it applied those changes everywhere else where that graphic style is being applied, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm going to do the same here, and let's let's create a new graphic style. So for example, here I have this yellow, and if I want to create a new graphic style, it automatically tells me there's no share style. And so I can go to the dropdown and create a new share style, and I can call it anything. So I'm going to call it yellow. And call it yellow, and and that's it. Now, whatever I want, if I want to apply that same color here, I don't have to copy the color or anything. I can just apply the graphic style. Boom. Something cool about graphic styles too is that it, it is not just the color. You can add multiple effects. So for example, if I want to add a gradient and probably not just a fill, but also a stroke, and I want to get a little bit crazy with this style. Let's, let's get a little bit, uh, let's add a stroke. It's a little bit bigger like that and see how, let's even add an effect. I'm going to add a shadow. And uh, let's make that shadow a little bit bigger. There you go. So here, it this one is still using the same graphic style, right? But over here, I have I'm going to update it here on the refresh button, and now it updates here too. So it, wherever I'm using the same graphic style, it will apply the same thing. And over here, for example, I want to change it from black to that cool yellow that I just created with multiple effects. You can do that easily and that will save you a lot of time. So yeah, that's graphic styles and use them, uh, use them uh, carefully and responsibly and it will help you with your workflow. Thank you.